All right, what we're going to do today is we are going to clean our record player needle. Let's go look at the record player that we're working with, and then we're going to show you how to clean your record player needle. So if we come over here, you can see this is a Magnavox Astrosonic, all right, and this is a stereo console. This is a circa mid-60s to uh, early 70s record player slash stereo console. We got uh, speakers on each side of it and two in the front. I would say this is a quadraphonic stereo. Sounds very good and it's a very nice stereo system. But we got a problem and the problem is is that our needle which is inside our cartridge. Now this is a built-in cartridge arm. You cannot take the cartridge off. It's up underneath and I want to show you that that's all the higher it goes so it's very hard to get to and if I take the camera we'll be able to see what the underneath looks like but when you're standing in the position I am you can't see so it's kind of a touch and feel situation but what you want to do is pull your needle out of the cartridge that's a very simple situation I'm going to show you how to put it back in I've already pulled it out and I'll show you how it goes in but let's go look at the needle I'm going to show you how to clean it off and I also want to show you how dirty these needles get from playing all these old vintage classic albums that you might have laying around the house. So if we look right here, here is our stylist. You can call it a style, stylist or a needle. Um, we are going to call it a needle. Now this needle is a diamond stereo, diamond head needle. This is made by Qualitone Industries and it is specifically made for my record player. That's very important to um, uh, uh, know when you're dealing with a needle that you need to purchase. Now there's several places online that you can go to to purchase your needles if you need to buy one. I want to go ahead and bring this in the picture right here. And this is the package that was with my uh, stereo console when I bought the stereo console at an estate sale and you can see that it has the part number right here it's a diamond stereo used for and then of course Magnavox and then it has all the part numbers made by Qualitone. I'd like to go ahead and open this box to show you the original needle that was on that record player and when I open that we'll get it out and I will show it to you okay which is right here and if you take a good look at it right here, you can see that the needle actually broke off the arm. You can see in this one here, here's the needle, and then this is actually the arm that holds the needle. So it's very delicate, and you don't want to break the needle end of it off of the arm, or this is what's going to happen right there. So now that we got the needle out of the record player itself, let's go ahead and clean that needle off. And what you're going to need to do that with is you're going to need some rubbing alcohol, a plastic cap from a water bottle, a drinking water bottle, and you're also going to need a fine brush, a fine brush paint brush. Now this is a paint brush that I've had around and we're going to use that to clean our needle with. And I also have another little item here which is a fine tooth, uh, you might call micro brush kit that you can purchase at a hardware store to do the job a little better if need be. So we will take our rubbing alcohol, we're going to pour it into the cap very carefully. We only need a couple drops. And then we'll set that down right in the area by the needle. And then once we have everything in place, we will grab our needle gently without breaking the needle off of the holder or holder off of the needle. Taking our paintbrush, dipping it into our rubbing alcohol, and gently wiping away the tip of the needle. And what this is doing, the brush will drag the dust and dirt that has collected on your needle off of the needle itself. You want to be very careful doing this. There might be some dust that is actually literally, believe it or not, wrapped around the needle itself. And if it seems like it's really dirty, you might want to invest in one of these little detailed brush kits 
and just kind of swipe across it and what that will do that will drag the dust off the needle as you are cleaning it now another thing that I have here is a magnifying glass that actually has a light on it and what we're going to do is I'm going to take my magnifying glass and if you look in the bottom corner here it's also got a macro magnifying glass which will even give me a better angle and I am going to look through my magnifying glass and I am going to view it to see if the needle is now clean and as I look at it I can see that there's still a bunch of trash that is left behind this is the situation you have that it's very important to clean your needles on a regular basis a lot of people don't realize that but let me tell you something when you're looking at a needle and I don't know if you can see that in the magnifying glass or not but it gets really really dirty under there and let me tell you just the fine minute dust or trash will really take it to the limit and you will never get that high quality stereophonic sound that you want so I'm going to use my finger as a leverage so the needle will not break off the holder and I will go ahead and proceed to scrub the tip off very gently to remove the trash that is left on the needle itself we're going to go ahead and turn the needle over this will be the 78 side anybody that plays 78 records will be glad that uh, you're watching this video because it is very important on a 78 record that you have a crystal clear needle to really get the high quality sound that you want and then I'm going to take my paintbrush one more time and I'm going to give it a good scrub I'm going to turn the needle over using my finger as a leverage so the needle will not break off and I believe we now have a needle that we can say is back to brand new condition So with all that done, let's go over to the record player, install our needle back into the player itself and see what kind of action we got on sound quality. So to put this back into the player itself, it's a little bit tricky, but it's kind of a feel and touch go situation to get it back in there. And what you want to do is hold your needle just like this and then there's a little spring in there where it will fit back in. So you want to be very careful not to break the tip of your needle as you slide it back in place okay now that we got everything going let's see what our records gonna sound like with a brand new clean needle